Hey, Mark with Coder. I'd like to show you how to create a template in Coder OSS and also create a workspace with a JetBrains PyCharm IDE running in a browser. So let's get started. So on the top left, I'm in a local terminal. I'm in a Dura called Pod with PyCharm. I have two files. I have a main.tf file, which is a Terraform script, and I have a readme markdown file. So let's go and open the TIFF file in VS Code so I can show you what's in this workspace templates. So we're gonna add two, uh, two providers, one for a coder and one for, since this will be a pod running on, on Kubernetes, I need to add that provider. I'm gonna prompt the user for things like storage, CPU, memory, if they have a dot .files repo. Um, they're gonna choose which image they wanna be the basis for this workspace and they can add a Python VS Code extension and they can also clone a um, a repo. They're going to be installing JetBrains PyCharm. I'm going to give them a choice as to which version they want to use. And then down here under the coder uh, startup script, this is where we basically clone the dot files repo, clone their source code repo, install JetBrains, uh, JetBrains projector, which is how you run a JetBrains IDE in a browser. Start that, uh, start that JetBrains IDE. <clears throat> So let's move it out of the way and let's upload this template into Coder and build a workspace. So on the top left, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use the local Coder CLI and type the command Coder templates um, create. And I'm going to choose the name of the template, pod with PyCharm. And this is going to run Terraform plan. It's going to prompt me for one value, which is for my cube my cube config file so that I can auth into the Kubernetes cluster and it will run Kubernetes plan. Okay, now that the template has been uploaded into the coder OSS Postgres DB, if I refresh my template screen in the coder server UI, you should see pod with PyCharm. I was talking about that readme markdown file. This will be attached here so that if I'm a dev who wants to build a workspace based on this template, I can see what is in it. So now let's create the workspace. We can either do it in the CLI locally or do it in the UI. Let's do it in the UI. Pull this up. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this um, PyCharm on Kubernetes. I'm going to accept all the defaults like memory, disk, things like that. It's going to ask you for a .files repo. I'll keep that blank for now. There's my image, there's my extension. Um, I'm gonna have it clone a uh, source code repo while I'm at it. Copy a sample one in there. And I'll use the most current PyCharm IDE and press submit. On the bottom left, I'm a, uh, this is running on GCP GKE Kubernetes. So I'm gonna uh, log into that cluster and show the pod getting created. So on the lower left screen, you should see it creating the pod. There it is, Coder Admin PyCharm on Kubernetes. Okay, after the workspace has started, let's open the PyCharm IDE. And you can see it's not just an IDE, I also have Python installed in here, version 3.8. We also have VS Code in here. I added some VS Code extensions to be installed as part of that startup script. <clears throat> if I go to the extensions part of VS Code, you'll see those already installed. So, so basically, as a dev, I have all my tools set to go, and I can start to code. Hope this helps.